Hey, Mike Amundsen here, and I'm back with you on designing and building great web APIs. I want to talk about a topic that's kind of foundational to uh, the book, and that is this notion of API first. You may have heard this phrase before. It's a bit of a meme, a kind of a, kind of a common phrase tossed around. And like all memes, it's got a little bit of a history and varied meanings, and I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of where it comes from, from my point of view. But I also want to tell you that this particular episode is brought to you by the letter K, and that will make a little bit more sense as we move on here. So first of all, I first heard of the notion of design, design first uh, APIs uh, from a gentleman by the name of Thomas, Kaz Thomas. Now, Kaz Thomas has written a lot of very interesting things. He's even written a book about piloting small aircraft, but I, I like his approach, and I first learned about it in 2009. For him, this API uh, first design means identifying or defining the actors or personas, determining what they want to be able to do with your API. And this is a key element in the story. Who are the people? What are they trying to do? That's what a lot of API first design uh, is about. Of course, I, I also love Ken Lane, another really, really powerful per evangelist in the API space. And he has a much more down to earth, much cleaner, clearer version of that story. Before you build your website, your mobile, your app, or your single page app, or whatever it is you're doing, develop your API first. Get that API in line, figure out what you're gonna do. So that's the much more practical aspect to it. You do it first. You create that API before you worry about creating those other elements. And that sort of leads us to the three kind of key pillars that I talk about in the book of API first. And that first one is the business problem. What are you trying to solve? What is this API supposed to be doing? Whether you're working in an enterprise, you're working on the open web for millions and millions of possible users, whether you're just working on a project on your own, you're trying to solve a problem, whether you call it a business problem or just some problem, that's really where you wanna start. Make sure you know what it is you're trying to solve before you start building that API. Now, that also leads to the second element in the story, and that's the one that, that uh, Thomas referred to, and that is your target audience. Your target audience, knowing who they are, knowing what problems they're trying to solve, and how they're used to solving it. If I'm writing for a bunch of PHP developers, the API is going to look different than if I'm writing for a bunch of C-sharp developers. If I'm writing for developers inside my own enterprise, my own organization, I design and document that very differently than if I'm designing and implementing an API for people I will never meet. So it's really, really important to understand who your tar target audience is. What's their problem? How are they typically trying to solve it? And how can you design that API to make sense for that particular audience? And that leaves uh, the other big pillar in this process, and that is the notion of design. I can do the same API lots of ways. If you need access to data, I can design it in lots and lots of possible ways. But what's the one that makes sense? And what I need to do is actively design, work at the notion of designing it to solve a particular problem. Like any product, like any service that you're offering, understanding the problem and the audience means I now incorporate that into the design itself. Designing more generic things makes them easier uh, uh, to apply to lots of projects, but harder to apply to each individual one because they're very generic. Making a very specific API design makes it very, very easy to solve one particular problem, but it's not gonna solve a lot of other problems. Who are your audience? What are you trying to solve? And when you put all those together, knowing the problem and the audience means this is how I'm gonna design. This is the API first uh, approach. This notion of taking these three main ingredients and putting them together. Now, I had mentioned to you earlier that this uh, episode is brought to you by the letter K. You may have already figured it out by now, but it actually took me quite a while. I've been teaching this same basic concept for several years, and it wasn't until I started to actually prepare this video that I realized that the two people that I'd learned most from and relied upon for this notion both had rather unique one-syllable first names that start with the letter K. Ken Lane and Kaz Thomas have affected the way I think about API design and approach the problem for several years, almost a decade since I, I first uh, encountered Kaz's material. And it's just recently that I realized that this episode is brought to you by the letter K. Hopefully this has been interesting. 
Uh, it, piques, it piques your interest in designing and building great web APIs. There's a lot more in the book on this and others. Check the book at the top of the page and the other elements in this series. And I hope I get to see you on the web. So long.